So here they are. Literally, this is such a big box. So we actually got five Dutch doors, and they're all Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome, welcome to today's video. I'm so excited about today's video, you guys, because if you've been following my channel for a really long time now, back in 2020, we built the barn that I'm in right now. It looks really dark, I don't know why. It's very early in the morning too. Well, not super early, but it's a lot brighter out. Anyways, in 2020, we built the barn, like I was saying, that we are in, and one of my biggest things that I wanted to do was put Dutch doors in the barn. But at the time, there was just so much going on and we just couldn't get it to happen at that time. But finally, you guys know that in the past couple months, I've been talking about that we have finally made the decision to get the Dutch doors almost two years later. So the Dutch doors are finally coming today and I'm so excited to reveal to you what they look like, do an unboxing and give you guys my first impressions because I've never seen them in real life yet. I actually just got the call yesterday that they were coming today so that was a pleasant surprise and literally it was right after I finished my last video where we did all of the detail finishing of the paint so it couldn't have been more perfect timing. The semi is literally right down the road so Mike's gonna go up and get them with the skid steer but I really want to give a big shout out to Ram Horse Fencing Installs for making this happen they've been so awesome to work with if you guys don't remember they helped us get our thoroughbed stall mattresses the mud management in the back that we also installed that's working absolutely awesome and their fans so if you guys need anything for your barn or horse related make sure you go check them out I'll leave their information in the description down below but I'm so excited so if you guys are excited if you guys are excited to see the Dutch doors I'm also really excited to show you guys what color we picked Make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, I have a chance to be my post notification shout out. All right, you guys, sorry for that really long-winded intro, but I just needed to preface all of it and why I'm so excited and why we're doing it. So let's go to the footage now of Mike going to pick them up from the road. All right, guys, this is exciting. Let's go get them unloaded. to have the door open so I could talk to him. It's very long. You'll see in a second, but it's very long. I couldn't I couldn't keep it straight coming off because of I guess they're pretty heavy and how long they are. So I'm gonna grab it from the side, but he had a stand on it so I had to be able to talk to him. So let's pick it up now from the side. Sorry to care about it's a little shaky, it's all I got. really quickly while he's bringing them up I just wanted to show you guys if you've missed some of my videos that we ended up painting the barn black and white it's so cute I still am going to paint this gate black just to match everything and it just looks so good so yeah so here they are literally this is such a big box so we actually got five Dutch doors and they are all right in here I'm so excited this is some serious packaging I'm really happy about this, so. Because they are prefabricated doors and I didn't want them to get dented or banged up or anything like that, so I was really curious to see how these were gonna ship. So I'm so glad that they're in such like a good, nice packaging, I should say. Definitely wasn't expecting it to look like that. So yeah, I was really interested to see how they were actually gonna ship them because of how big they are. But I really like the packaging that they were in because it doesn't seem like they were able to get banged up or anything because obviously the whole thing is enclosed. So really cool, I really like that. I was a little bit nervous. And there's all the doors in there. And the box is literally screwed together. So Mike has his drill here and we are literally going to unscrew all of the screws with the drill so we can really get a good look at these. I'm so excited. So all of the packaging is off obviously besides the bottom, but what's kind of funny is that they're actually upside down. So when we take all the um, plastic wrap off, we're not even gonna be able to see it just yet. So I guess this is more suspense adding on to it, but I do see the frame. So I'm sure you guys can probably see the frame too, but without further ado, let's just keep getting this plastic wrap off. So we will be turning them over very soon, but this is, um, let's call it the back side, I guess. So this is what side is gonna be in our barn, which we were just laughing about because it's white and you guys know that the horses are gonna get this really dirty. So I will probably be painting this black in some point in time 
it's gonna look really dirty. So I'm very excited though, cause you see our latches here. So here's one latch and then here's the other latch. So this obviously, when this is latched, it keeps them together. When it's unlatched, it can separate the top from the bottom. This is how we would open the bottom after these are unlatched because then the top can swing open and then this allows the top to be open without the bottom open. And then once this is unlatched, it allows the bottom to open. So I think it's time that we flip it over and show you guys the front of it and what it's gonna look like on the side of the barn. Here it is, you guys. This is the reveal. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. They're so big, so much bigger than I thought they'd be. So here's Mike, he's like six foot tall. So you can kind of really see how big it is. Just like, wow, wow, wow. So we went with black and white. Now we are originally gonna go with all black, which I still think would look really good, but you guys might think I'm crazy, but let me tell you guys why we went with this. Because we figured that it would be super easy to paint it black over the white if we wanted it to be all black, but at least we have the option of it first being black and white. And I'm such a visual person, so it was so hard for me to make this decision without actually seeing it on my barn. So, once we have it up there, and I can have it black and white for a bit, then if I change my mind, I can paint it black. I know it's crazy, we're painting everything, but it's just the easiest way for me to make sure that I'm making the right decision on my dream barn, so. So cool, I wish I could open them for you right now and show you, but there is like a little back plate, I think, for shipping. Let me jump around here. So, this right here is preventing it from opening and I believe it's just for shipping purposes. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off just so that we can show you guys because I'm so excited to show you guys how these work if you haven't seen them before. They're actually a really cool system. I'm gonna show you just how we can open this front. So basically you would take the latch and pull it down like that. And then if you wanted it back latched up, you do that. So we're unlatching it now. And hold on, let me see if I can push it for you guys. So here's the push. So it's obviously tilted right now. So it's leaning on it a bit, but let me show you from the front. Okay, are we ready? Here's Mike. <laughs> so here's the bottom of it. If it was just gonna be wide open and we'll see the cute horses looking through. <laughs> the cute horses, right? The cute horses. <laughs> Anyways, and then that's the bottom with it open and it will just, connect onto my barn so it doesn't swing and then when we want it all closed up we will just close it or if we want it all open I don't think I can show you guys it all open right now just because it would just be a standing frame right here but you guys will see when it's on the barn so it's so awesome and they feel so sturdy and I just love how they're pre-fabricated doors and we don't have to really do anything except just cut our hole out of the barn and install them. I'm so excited. You guys can see kind of right here how they look against the barn. Now that white is a little bit more of like a bright white than our actual barn, but it's okay because I can always paint them too. So don't worry. Um, we just need to get them up there and then we'll, you know, make any alterations that we need. But I'm so excited. Tiger Lily is already checking out what we have. What are you doing? She's always gotta inspect. Oh boy, that doesn't look like a good place for her. Guys, I am literally so excited. Like, just this site right here almost feels like surreal. Like, I did not think that we were really ever gonna be able to do this. So I'm so excited. And the quality of them is just so nice. Like, they are way better than what I expected. And I saw many pictures of them online, but they're just, I don't know, I guess since they're here and the weight of them, they just feel like really good quality. And they just look so good. And they look like they're gonna be not easy to put in, but like way easier than trying to build them ourselves. So I'm very excited, not gonna lie, a little daunted at the process of putting them in just because they are really big and it definitely takes Mike and I both to like pick them up. So so I can imagine it might be like a little bit difficult to like, you know, mess with them a bit while we're installing them just because they are so heavy, but they are so nice. And I just love that they're also metal because our barn is metal. So it just works because if we were gonna make them ourselves, we were gonna make them most likely out of wood, which is perfectly fine, but I just wanted it all to be really cohesive and look like it came with the metal building. So I'm so excited. I just, I don't know. I am daunted at the work though. We haven't worked hard, super hard, like on this barn like we used to, so I'm a little out of touch of that. Yes, we painted, but painting in general is like difficult, but it's nothing that you have to like, I don't wanna say use like a lot of like brain power for because you're just painting. But with this, this is gonna be something that we don't wanna mess up since we are making huge, really huge 
cuts and holes in our barn. And if we mess up, fingers crossed we don't, um, you know, it could be a little bit more tragic than just painting. So I'm really excited. We're gonna have to put a lot of thought into this and how we're gonna make this work. The first one's always like, I don't wanna call it the trial and error, but it kind of is. And then we get a system after. That's kind of how Mike and I always work together. We figure it out on the first one, hope we make no mistakes, and then we're cruising through there. So hopefully it works and I'm so excited about this. I actually just can't wait for when they're lined up on this wall right here because this is the wall that like faces the road. So when we pull into our property, we just see like this big wall of a barn, which it's not bad. It's just, it just would look better like because it just blocks everything. Obviously, it literally just looks like a block right there. So I think it'll bring a lot of dimension to the look of the barn. And obviously it's not just about the look, it's very much so about the function and letting the horses be able to walk out. So I'm so excited, I just cannot wait for this. This is the side I think we're gonna focus on first because I like really want this done or maybe the goat side because that really would benefit them. It's really gonna benefit everybody. It just solely depends on how we get that first stall done. So maybe we'll start on that side because if we mess up, at least the road won't see it, who knows. But I'm just so excited to see the three doors over here. So there's gonna be three here and then two on the other side. Hi kitties. Well, we're about to let all the horses in because we have some fun stuff to do today. Hi. But guys, I just really wanted to share this with you and how cool this is. Like, I'm just obsessed. You guys really need to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below because I'm so excited to see what you guys think about these because I remember during the process of building the barn, so many suggestions came in to do Dutch doors or windows and those type of things. And we always wanted to do windows. We just could not figure out exactly what we wanted to do because I was really, really wanting the Dutch doors. So I figured if I did windows, I would never get the Dutch doors. And that was our goal, just to stay focused on getting those Dutch doors. Even though the goal took almost two years, it's fine because we had a lot of time to enjoy the barn how it was. And now we'll really be able to appreciate it. Even more, even with the painting, it feels like I got a brand new barn again. So it's just like, it's all good feeling, so I'm so excited about this improvement. It's gonna be such an upgrade for the horses. And just how we do things around here, we always try to make things be super efficient and super, let's say, quick and easy, just because we both work full-time jobs. And for us to, be able to spend a lot of time with our animals, we have to make sure that everything is just, let's say, easier, a lot more functional throughout the whole process of running the farm. I've gotta let the horses in, but one thing I'm really interested in is because we always let them through here, and I imagine that we'll still use this entry as like an entry but i don't know i mean i'm sure actually it will change how we do this with the dutch doors being installed and letting them have access to come in whenever they want come on babies cash got out again last night well i should say in the wee morning hours so he's in the barn already <laughs> come on babies come on hi Hello, good morning, cutie. Come on, Dinks. In the beginning, I was talking about the mud management. Okay, it's open already, girlfriend. Jeez. I was talking about the mud management that we actually installed right here, and it is dry, you guys. So it's been working really well. We've had rain literally for the past like 10 days in a row. So mud management is working really well. Hi, Dinky. Are you just waiting here for some attention? Good girl. Come on. She's so goofy, I don't know what she wants. Come on. So yeah, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Look at her. I'm not really sure how this will change and I'm very interested to see how it will change because they'll be able to go right into their stall through the Dutch doors, so that's interesting. Things are really gonna change in this barn once we install the Dutch doors because their whole routine will just be different. And speaking of install, let me know if you guys want me to do like the install video like I used to do for the barn building process because we always had a lot of fun doing that and then it also became like a resource if anybody else like did this to their barn and it would show them how to do it. So let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see that video because when I post this video, it's gonna be a Saturday. And the Sunday following when I post this video, we are going to be installing the first one just so we can get a hang of it. And we definitely won't be getting like them all done in one day. It's gonna take a long time, I think, just because it is pretty tedious. We wanna make sure that everything stays like watertight. So I don't know, I'm, I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Hi, and I am so excited that they're here. Well, they're here, but I'm in like the Dutch doors because it's been such a funny rainy season with having goats because we have to run out and get them because they don't like the rain. So we literally have to run out while it's pouring rain and we get wet so that our poor goats don't have to stay out in the rain. And I'm sure Mike will be very happy, right Mike? Yep. When he doesn't have to run in the rain. He typically is the one who has to get sacrificed and Always. runs out in the rain. So yeah, my poor goats. 
well, they won't be so poor anymore because they'll be able to go in through the Dutch doors. And we're not putting a Dutch door in this stall. If you guys haven't seen the video before when I explained this, hi, Willie. We're not putting a Dutch door here. We're only putting a Dutch door in the five stalls. So one, two, three, four, and five. This will still be their pen. They'll still be locked up in here at night, but they're always out during the day. And the options for them will be, they can go into these two. Oh, Minnie, look at her. What are you doing, Minnie? <laughs> She's so weird. Anyway, sorry, I got super distracted, but the options will be that they can go through this, this Dutch door and this Dutch door. And the reason for that is that we'll just get them out of the elements. So they can come in and they can leave throughout the day with Dinky because their primary playmate is Dinky. So this will be basically their shelter for the day. This is how they go in and go out. And then when it's time for them to be inside for the rest of the night, we'll either, if they're like hanging out, let's just say for instance in this stall, we'll just open this stall and let them go in here. Or if they're out and about in the pasture, we'll just open up the back and let them in like normal. So that's how that's gonna technically change. It's nothing crazy. They're still gonna have this pen. We're just not putting a Dutch door in. They'll be able to get out of the elements through these two Dutch doors right here. So I hope that makes sense. But for now, it's actually time for them to go out. And we'll still be doing this process of letting them out. That's very hard with only one hand because I'm holding the camera. All right, little goats. Come on. Go play with Diggy, you guys. See you later. Oh boy, Minnie. Minnie's feeling very crazy today already. It's just the morning time. Why are you crazy already? Okay, that's one way to handle things. <laughs> Bye, Minnie. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you guys are just as excited as I am about our Dutch doors, and you guys got to see the reveal of what they look like, and I can't wait to show you guys if you guys wanna see um, how it goes when we install them. But I'm mostly excited about the finale and like to show you the full reveal of them installed, but we're in the car right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog because we are actually going on a little road trip to pick up a new animal. So you guys will have to make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel right now and put on your post notifications so you don't miss that next video of what animal we are going to pick up today. And of course, you have a chance for my post notification shout out. So today's shout out goes to, all right you guys, we love you and we'll see you in the next one.